do you guys take that free extra bucket of popcorn that you get at the movie theaters home? <laughs> <laughs> or is it just me? Um, but then again, I haven't been to the movie theaters in like over two and a half, maybe three years since COVID started. Today was my first, well, I actually didn't go to the movies now thinking about it. I'll explain later. But anyways, seriously, and they put it in like this little bag now, so I can keep it fresh. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's Carl's. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. All right, so in today's video, we are actually going to be reviewing a product that I received in my December, was it December? My December BoxyCharm, either the Lux or the Premium Box. I can't remember to be completely honest, but I was excited to actually receive this product because I don't have anything from this particular brand. So when I got it, I'm like, yay. And then when you actually see the actual palette, it's like, Aesthetically, it's very pleasing and it's beautiful, so I cannot wait to test it out. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. Anyway, sorry, I was chewing on popcorn. <laughs> All right, you guys, if you are new to my channel, welcome. If I haven't said so already, or did I? I don't remember. My name is Carlos. I do product reviews, makeup tutorials, lifestyle videos, vlogs, and everything under the umbrella. And if you like hot messes, then this channel is definitely right up your alley. So make sure before you leave to hit that subscribe button. All right, you guys, so I didn't even tell you what we were going to be reviewing. <laughs> I just realized that now as I'm looking down. Today's video, we are going to be reviewing. You didn't see what I was about to do. I'm about to show you the. <laughs> Anyways, we're uh, we're going to be reviewing the Mali Beauty Dress, wait, Best Dress Lids Palette. I'm not going to lie, it's such an odd name for a palette, so I have to look at it. It's weird. Anyways, you guys, so that is exactly what we're going to be reviewing today um, because I definitely want to test out the product um, personally my own because typically when a new product comes out, there's a lot of hype about it, a lot of like kind of like bias, like... Uh, Bias personal feelings about the brand. I like the person behind the brand. She's hilarious. She seems really outgoing. But since I've never actually used a Mali Beauty product before, this is going to be completely first impressions. So I'm pretty excited about that. Anyways, you guys, so where was I? Where was I going with this? <laughs> All right, let's just go ahead and get started. Let me go ahead and prime my eyelids first and then we'll get into the palette. All right, you guys, so I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Think Me Later eyeshadow primer. Um, full disclaimer, just to give you an FYI, my dog, one of them, is in the room, which is typically Ross Geller, who's in the room with me. Um, right now, he is chewing on a bone. So you may hear some chewing noises, or you may hear some farty noises, too. I ain't going to lie, but it's not me, so just so you know. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I got both eyelids prime, ready to go. Okay, so today, as I mentioned, I don't know if I did, um, was the first day I went back to the movie theater since COVID hit, so it's literally been two and a half years. And I really didn't get to enjoy it. Let me explain. So on a whim, I figured, let's go ahead and take the kids, right? It was just woke up in the morning. I'm like, let's do something different. It's Friday before the weekend starts next week the kids go back to school except our little west one sorry i had to open a soda oh have you guys have tried um pepsi mango it's actually really delicious anyhow it's not sponsored but if pepsi ever wants to sponsor you're more than welcome to anyways you guys so, so i figure okay let's go ahead and take the kids out to the movie theaters blah blah blah, 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 blah. um just you know now we knew taking our kids, especially our daughter, who is three years old, um, was going to be a little bit on like the 50-50. Like, either she's going to sit down or it's going to be chaotic and she's not going to sit down and watch the movie, right? So I we got each of us. Okay, so there's like those recliner type of chairs now in the theater. So there's two here, two here, two here, right? I'm trying to visual. I'm trying to paint a picture so you can visualize. So each pair got a full bucket and each of us got like an icy to drink as I'm knocking stuff over. And I figured this would be, this will keep her content, right? Clearly that wasn't the case. So she was moving around. She was talking a little loud. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna excuse myself with her um, to kind of just wander the facility, the movie theater, because clearly she's not going to sit here and watch it. So. Long story short, ended up spending close to $200 for tickets, food, 
and I didn't get to enjoy any of it. That's how it goes, right? Anyways, you guys, uh, life of a three-year-old. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to be doing today, I am going to, I think I'm going to create a simple look that I saw, not, I'm not, let me restate that. I'm going to use a technique that I seen on Instagram and TikTok. Well, you, can you get any more louder? Um, anyways, so the technique that I saw, and I've used this before, and I actually like this technique when applying eyeshadow, where you just take one color, pick a line here, pick another color, put a line here, and keep going. You can, I've seen people do it up to three, I mean, up to like four shadows. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do, and they pretty much just buff it out. You just got to be careful that you don't overly buff it out where the colors become a little bit like washed together, like a muddy appearance. So you do have to be careful, but the end result result is typically really nice okay you guys so just in case if you have this palette and you do want to follow me I'll let you know step by step as to what colors I'm going to be using and where I'm applying them I'm going to be using music concert outer corner match in the next trade next to that I'm going to be using uh, power lunch and then I'm going to be using Monday evening next to power lunch in the last shade in the inner corner of my eye once again I'm going to be using black tide event and then I'm going to go ahead and buff those in together so let's go ahead and apply those shadows right now Girl, All right, you guys, so I went ahead and apply the eyeshadows on both of the eyelids just to kind of get it out of the way instead of just doing one at a time. Just in case, if you are curious, the brush that I end up using was a Tress Loose. It is the B111, B111, yeah, B11, <laughs> three times. Anyways, guys, just in case, I did go in to like to clean off the brush every time I went into a new shadow. You guys, seriously, this is really good. All right, you guys, so now to buff these shadows all together. Now the brush I'm gonna be using next is from Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is the L, <laughs> I can't barely read it, L28 or 78. The font is so tiny. So I'm gonna take this brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and just windshield motion, mo windshield motion wiper something like that right and just pretty much just buff it out little by little again you want to be careful that you don't overly buff it out because it does if you do it can become a little bit muddy so let me go ahead and show you exactly what I mean all right you guys so I went ahead and buffed out all four eyeshadows on both of the eyelids now what I will say though sometimes when you do create this type of look or this using this type of technique what I've noticed sometimes is that you will lose like one of the shades. So for an example, I did lose the Monday morning or sorry, the Monday meeting, which is this shade right here. It's hard to see in the monitor, but where I end up losing it was right in the middle, that particular shade right there. So what I end up doing is just going back into the same brush, the Trust Loose Beauty B111. And then I just went right back into the pan and apply a little bit more on there and just buffed it out. This way, whatever I did lose, I went ahead and re apply it back on there because I really didn't apply a lot the first time around and then since I wanted the inner corners of my eye to pop just a little bit more I end up taking the same shade I used before the black tie event just in case you're curious which one that was that was this one right here and I just reapplied it in the middle and just work it inward hopefully that makes any sense now what I will say though is that since I have hooded eyes, I don't want to lose what little bit of landscaping I do have on my eyes. And what I mean by that is because sometimes when you have hooded eyes, you, your eyes tend to droop a little bit more and you lose a lot when you open your eyes. So when I say you, you lose a lot, you lose a, like, this is the real estate for me, right? And I don't want my eyes to look so heavy since I have hooded eyes. And since I was buffing out the product, the two darker shades, it did take over the eyelid a little bit and made my eyes look a little bit more darker and a little bit more smaller. I want to avoid that. So if you're like me and you're in the same boat and you have hooded eyes and you don't want your eyes to look tinier and you want them to look a little bit more bolder, then what you can do is go back into the palette or go get another palette if the shade that you're looking for isn't in that particular palette that you're using. So go with the lightest shade in the palette, which is this one here. I'm trying to read it. It's Date Night. So I, it's a matte shade right here. I end up using that and I just simply applied it right below the brown bone area right here 
tapped it on and then buffed it out. This way, it softens up those darker shades without it looking too muddy and it doesn't have that overall weightness to your eyes. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, you guys, so let me offer you two more suggestions as to what you could do to finish this overall look, right? So you could get, I would say, maybe one of these disposable lip products, get your micellar water and just clean it up like here, like bring it up and make a swoof line so that it kind of cleans up that whole area. Or you could go into the first brush that you use, the one with all the different products or all different shades, right? So instead of dusting it off, just take it fan it out just like this and just using what's left over on that brush and just blend it or I should say apply it right below the waterline area so this way it creates a nice overall smoky look here let me show you real quick you see this exactly what I was trying to achieve. All right, you guys, so to complete the overall look, what I end up doing is using a mascara and applying a gel liner on the bottom um, waterline area. So just in case if you want to take a look, so it's more, it looks gold in the monitor, but it's actually more of on the brassy tone overall. So I end up using the Tresluce Beauty. This is the Intenso Gel Liner. This is in the shade um, Accomplish. Again, it's, I guess you could say it's brass, copper. I, I don't know, it's a little bit in the between families. And then I added a little bit of mascara. The mascara I ended up using is from Merit Beauty. Merit Beauty is an all natural vegan makeup company. So this actually is really, really nice. I like it because it's very subtle, it's very natural looking. All right, you guys, so now in terms of the palette itself by Mali Beauty, the best dressed lids eyeshadow palette. Again, weird title. Um, Pigment is actually really, really good. Even though I use four shades, I was kind of worried on how it was going to perform in terms of like the blendability. Cause I just, I didn't dust any product off. I just went ahead and laid them right on, laid the other one right on and vice versa with on the other side. So again, I didn't know what to expect because normally you just dust off the product and this time I actually didn't, but that's perfectly fine because it actually blended out really nicely. You see this? No harsh lines. I think this particular technique that I end up using, I think it's easy in the sense of you're wanting, if you're that individual who wants to create like these fun looks without having to learn all these special techniques that you see on TikTok and Instagram, let's be honest, not everyone has 20 to an hour of creating this cut crease, make a line here uh, to be, I don't even know. All I know is, is I want the eyeshadow to look as natural and as easy as possible. And by doing that line, even though it's a technique, it's an easy technique that anyone can do within under, like I would say five minutes. But definitely leave a comment below. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions because of course, that's what also matters as well. Again, the palette, it's really good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so happy I got it. The quality is fantastic. The blendability is there and the pigment, it's really there as well. So I'm not worried 100% of like how it's going to perform because clearly it performed quite well. All right, you guys, as always, it was a pleasure being able to sit with you guys and have a little chit chat, do a little mini eyeshadow tutorial and give you a product review. All right, you guys, but until then, make sure to brush your teeth, wash your culo and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, take care, bye now.